hello, this is what we're dealing with right now. Frost, cold, all the fruit trees are frosty. This is the kind of time of year, uh, sorry, what I was going to say is, this, at this time of year it's, it's not often as cold as this. This has been a real cold snap here in Scotland and it's been, in the UK actually in general, it's been quite a lot of snow. We've not really had the worst of it here in Glasgow. We've been okay, but you can see how how frosted up everything is. And it's cold to go outside. And at some points it's been minus four, minus six. It, it doesn't get into the minuses that much here anymore. <laughs> I don't know if this is a global warming thing, but it doesn't often get as bad as this. Anyway, um, so I, I wrote out a little bit of a report kind of thing on staying raw vegan in the winter. So if you would like that, just put a comment below and I'll get it. I'll send it out to you because I think I think you might find it interesting anyway, and you can give me some feedback on it. But. Really, you don't. You want to get to a point where your environment isn't changing your principles when it comes to your health, and even when it comes to maybe going out and exercising and things like that. People can get made very demotivated when it gets cold like this, and don't want to go out and don't want to do anything. So it's important to try and stick to all the all the things you're doing and the the various exercise or nutrition programs that you're working on. So that's that's where we're at. It is very cold. It's kind of uncomfortably cold I suppose. But the main thing to realise is most of us are living inside most of the time anyway. Even people that live in really warm places they're sleeping inside obviously and generally staying inside at night and, and so on. So we're in control of our inner environment and the food we eat is really, it's not, it shouldn't be freezing cold, we shouldn't be eating cold fruit from the fridge or anything, we should be eating, try and eat room temperature foods. So it shouldn't really have an effect, the, the temperature and everything. And, and I would say that when people think they're craving warm food, to me it's not the warmth they're craving, that's not what they're craving. I think that often they're craving the saltiness, they're maybe craving the spiciness, they might be craving the fattiness of the food. There's quite a lot of emergency services go up and down this road. So think about, and they might be craving sugar as well, so think about what are you really looking for? Is it really the is it really the warmth of the food? Because what I would say is, people I'm sure still get up in the morning and have sandwiches and still have crisps and still have biscuits and still have things that aren't warmed up at all during the winter. So so I don't see any excuse for not, uh, for not eating fruit as well, but... So that's where I am, how's everyone else? Where are you? Is it cold where you are? And how are you dealing with it? Let me know below and we'll see you soon.